Beautiful, beautiful. Let's put you right over there. What are you sniffing and snoofing about, cat? <clears throat> Let's put on the streamer voice. Hey, uh, can you chill? Thanks. Thank you. Be very kind of you. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sweet, we're still working. I'm going to let that go for a sec. Uh, for each, all you cool thought viewers in the future, um, sorry, there's crap all over my, get off, I need a duster, not Mother 3 duster, but he's pretty cool, while we're chilling for a second, let me reorganize everyone. I don't know if I've actively mentioned it, but usually when I mean everyone or I'm talking about things, I usually mean my little Monster Hunter figurines, because they get out of order here and there when I'm here to fix them. So it's no biggie. Ah. Also, apologies, I just threw a sandwich down my throat, so I should be good to go. Shouldn't have to break for food now. A little sniffy, allergies are acting up, I'm so sorry. Hopefully it shall pass. Uh, like I said though, but for your, all you VOD viewers, I'll go ahead and start talking about what this is. This is Pikmin 2 Colossal Caverns, which is something I've been trying to make work for a long time, and it took a little bit of finagling. Um, but here it is. I've tested it a few different times yesterday. It's a lot of fun. It is a Pikmin 2 hack by the aptly named Pick Hacker who's awesome. You should go check them out. They make really good stuff. Um, also made the Pikmin 251 hack, which is on my list to play at some point as well. Um, and they are working on the Pikmin Squared hack, which is Pikmin 1, but in Pikmin 2's engine. Um, and definitely a handful of other hacks. I don't remember some of the bigger ones, because I don't think they made Kaizo, and I don't think they made Lance of Torture, but I know they made Endless Abyss, they made Quick Men, Pick Mini, and a couple other things. Uh, so definitely go check out their website and their YouTube channel. They're really cool and are one of the lead Pikmin mod makers, so incredible. Uh, Colossal Caverns, as you can probably see by this little screen here, is kind of a choose your own adventure, sort of, but. You'll see when we get into it, what we're looking at. I kind of want to wait just a second in case any actual viewers want to pop in, but this might be one of those me just talking to myself streams. <laughs> and then when it comes up as a VOD, it's essentially just a Let's Play. That I know what I'm doing, sort of. I mean, depending on the seat, it could go very off the rails very quickly. So... First off, this comes with compatibility to have up to four player co-op in it, which is awesome. If I can interest a couple of my pals, maybe we'll do that at some point. Uh, I know my buddy Caleb has gotten big into emulating recently, and I know Paul's been doing that too, so I'll have to, come on. that could be fun! That could be fun to get the two of them and maybe Chris also involved. That would be chaotic. Um, you've got character options, so not just your base Olimar and Louie and President, but you've also got Olimar's wife. Do I really want to go through all some? I'm, I don't know who some of these characters are, but we'll get to them. Olimar's wife, who is his called wife. Alf, Brittany, and Charlie from Pikmin 3. The ship, who is supposedly a playable character in 251. A purple Pikmin. A Pikmin -Pik carrot. A Boldman. A Breadbug. Mar, I probably would have said like Piclamar, but Olimar when he's it's bad end Olimar from Pikmin 1. The rubber ugly this horrifying Mario head from Mario teaches typing. Ouija, of course. I see Yoshi too, but I don't see a regular Yoshi. Toad, Waluigi, Knuckles. It's as big the cat, but that's clearly Froggy. We got Pac-Man, we got Chunky, who is not dead. Raymond. Uh, whoops, I went too far. 
Hat Kid, of course, Rayman, not to be confused with Raymond, Pepino, our boy, if you know anything about me, I love Pepino, and I love, uh, uh, almost said Spaghetti Junction, uh, Pizza Tower, uh, Old Penguin from Club Penguin, we got Spongebob, Old Man Jenkins, the meme version of Mike Wazowski, we got Barry the Platypus, Strong Bad, of course, I, I wonder if current age internet even knows who strong bad is like that was back in my day i feel so old <laughs> kermit art simpson stewie griffin moai i don't know who rin is probably uh anime gumi gummy i don't know bacho is it the president with like I can't tell what that is. Is that a tank? Or is he just wearing like a different outfit? I have no idea. Vaporeon, which uses the Pokemon Quest model, the one where they're all essentially cubes and stuff. So that one's actually pretty good. And I believe these are all people who either Pick Hacker knows or like help worked on this, or maybe they use like assets from. Um, quote Balrog, I do know of. He's made some really pretty cool. Pikmin content, Pentumio, and then of course Pickaxe. <laughs> so I don't know why some of these are what they are, but cool. Uh, Jirachi, Froggers. I assume that's like, <laughs> uh, I think that's SMT. Morshu, of course. Jeepers, who I think is the self insert for Pikmin New Fortune. Raz from Psychonauts. Don't know who that is. Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> Mario. Purple, I guess, Slime. Ashley from MarioWare. And, of course, Crewmate. So, I'm sure there's a lot of these that people would like to see. But I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with my latest uh, duo. Which is... Vaporeon and Pepino. Because I like them. Uh, Onion Mode. On or off means, well, if it's on, onions will show up in the cave. If they're not, then you don't get onions. Um, and essentially that means if there aren't onions, you cannot make more Pikmin. And all Pikmin are precious, and <laughs> you're screwed if you lose too many. Um, if they're, they're on, you can make as many Pikmin as you want, essentially. Uh, 200 Pikmin limit, I'm definitely turning on. You can have up to 200 Pikmin with you, like out of the onions at a time, which is really nice, because this cave is do be colossal first person mode not this time but maybe another time i i don't know about this one i'm gonna go ahead and put it on um i don't know if this is like custom enemies or custom like assets but we're gonna give it a shot and see what it is i haven't tried it yet um we'll start with onion mode just as like an ease into sort of thing, and then I'll probably do one without. Depending on how quickly this run goes, I could lose, or it could be hours of me trying to beat this, and you'll see why it takes so long. You can manually put in seeds if you got them. You can choose what music you want to listen to. Um, pretty much all the um, different cave sounds. The Jelly Float one would be pretty nice. Giant Bread Bug I might go with because I really like that one. There's some from 251, which is cool. And then the overworld stuff. Or you just have no music, which I guess would be kind of ambiatic. Ambiatic? I usually like Wistful Wild or Perplexing Pool or even Awakening Wood. But I'll do... I'm feeling goofy. We'll go Giant Red Bug. Um, oh, hello, hello, welcome! Welcome to... I need to actually get out of the menus and get this thing started so it's interesting. Uh, probably not going to go unstable. We'll do 5 onion mode as a nice kind of get started. I'm going to stick with vanilla, but if you wanted, you can make it 251 difficulty. Like has a torture, Kaizo, suffering, etc. We're going to stick with vanilla. Uh, I don't need to see. That's going to be doing it. And we'll turn on lag repellent. And I, like I said, we're going to start with some, something a little simpler just so that <laughs> I can ease into it. I also only woke up like an hour ago, so give me a moment. Okay. 
Thank you for your patience. Now we're going to actually jump into today's feature-length film. And I do mean feature-length because this is going to be an ordeal. So our goal, number one, is to get all 201 treasures. And our second goal is to defeat every enemy that shows up. Uh, I will be attempting to do both. We will see how that goes. At least all the treasure, but we're going to have to kill a lot of enemies to make sure it's safe to take back all the treasure. So might as well just do both. So every boss is going to be here. Every basic enemy. Um, the bosses that show up multiple times, like Ranging Floyster and BD Longlegs, will have multiple incarnations of each other. And Ranging Longlegs and Segmented Cropster, who don't have power-up treasures in the original game, now have the two globe halves. And so I'm going to pause for a second before we process that. So the Ranging Longlegs globe will power up, I believe it's your radar, and the globe you get from the Cropster powers up your carrying speed for your Pikmin, so that there's a reason to actually go after those two. So and there's the breadbug music. Let's get started. I automatically hear... Okay, well, he's over there. I hear an antenna beetle. The sooner we can kill him, the better. Oh, he's right over there. Perfect. Because once... Oh, my god. Okay, so we got an emperor right there. Yeah, you're going to be an issue. Got a bumbler. Two bumblers. Oh, it's two antenna beetles, I think. Uh, oh, I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Um, I was doing better until I realized that the man at legs is over in the distance. Um, <laughs> we'll be okay. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the traps are here, too. Um, that better not be Cropster. Okay, thank God. I was like, I cannot fight Cropster in this tiny space. Also, I should, I should show off our lovely... <laughs> Our player one and player two here. There he is, just as horrified as he is in Pizza Tower. And yeah, I, I believe this is the Pokemon Quest model. Um, I really want to go this way first. But if I open the floodgates here, this guy is going to give us some problems. Um, not much has happened so far. Uh, pretty much just been this. Um, just kind of got some early lunch, and now we're doing pigment. Those can't come over one layer, right? Uh, I need to be very particular about this. Okay, shoot a boulder first, and then let's get this out of the way. Okay, that snitch bug is going to be a problem. Uh, time here, it is just after 11. AM. I'm usually up a lot sooner, but I took my time getting out of bed this morning. Okay. Alright. One of you down. There's another one right over there. Good to know. I wonder if the breadbug music was the right pick. <laughs> I'll go ahead and open this up. I'm do I really want to fight him first? Twelve AM. Oh, okay. So we're, like, almost complete opposites in time right now. Uh, is this enough purple? Yeah, this is enough purples for, for our boy here. Okay, you better die. Okay, thank god. Yep. I'm in the good old U.S. of A, unfortunately. Oh, this is just one of the optional emperors that doesn't have the Forge's Courage. God dang it. Um, I guess I can open this up. I don't really think I want to go over here just yet. But I might as well give myself some extra space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did he spawn? This totally feels like a boss is going to spawn right here. There's no way. Oh, there's the yellow onion. 
Also, that most recent uh, falling sound effect signifies that the submer not submerged, the uh, water wraith has spawned somewhere in the dungeon. Oh, this is just a dead end. Oh, I thought this is where it led to the man. Oh, you know what? I can actually take a look at this. So yellow. Oh, wow. Yeah, blue onions way over there. Yellow's there. White and purple are really close. That's nice. And then the red onions way over there. So should we need to make more Pikmin, some of them will be a bit of a trek to get to. Uh, we're going to attempt to deal with this guy. Beautiful. Alright. These bumblers can be a huge pain since they grab your captains. Okay, also you are here. I got some spectraludes over there. I think I see the white onion over there. Yeah. This guy's gonna be a pain to deal with. Is there... Oh, you know what? If I try to go after that, like, that, uh, poison, he's totally gonna hit my boys. Um, okay. Let's... Let's bait out a boulder. I did not realize that he could Grab my purples from there. Oh my god, okay. That was almost an issue. Uh, Mamuda. This one might be the one that has the brute knuckles, which would be nice. I guess I'll check him real fast. Oh, hello. You sleeping? I just don't want to alert the Wally Wog. Nope, it's just a regular Mamuda. I sure wish you had the upgrade. Starting with purples is such a godsend, because if you don't do uh, white and purple candy pop buds, or uh, onions, you can only get purples and whites via their candy pop buds, and you don't start with any, which is unfortunate. Uh, chrysanthemum. I see a ridge bug over there. We got some dwarf bull bears. The treetop apple juice! My favorite treasure! All right, we have access to white. Uh, well, we're making more white Bikmin now. And we got a red candy pop bud, not bad. I need to be particular, I've got my only purples with me. I mean, there's still ivory and violet candy pop buds, so even if I were to get a quote-unquote extinction, I could still technically make more. Okay, I'm getting way distracted from my original plan of manet legs. Oh, but bold men! Oh yeah, oh yeah, I want both men. Uh, oh, you know what? You can, I think you can climb over when the gate is down to one notch. So we might want to be pretty careful about that. Okay, does not seem like it actually. Ugh, I'm gonna be very particular about this. Alrighty, okay. We got us some bold men. And for those who aren't familiar with... Okay, there's a wall there. I thought I could just fall off. Uh, bold men are immune to all hazards, except for, of course, uh, explosions. So they are incredibly nice to have. And in this mod, they can also find underground treasure like white Pikmin can. And that was only added in because sometimes treasure might... Underground treasure might spawn in the water. Also, we got a lot of candy pop buds. Oh, no, 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 no. I alerted the dump hole. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, you're trying desperately to get that corpse, you poor thing. Oh, hello. I think you technically count as an enemy. Oh, no, no, I don't want you taking my Boltman. Uh, you should not have drank that one nectar all on your own. Oh, come on. I want to get rid of this fire real fast. And then also this guy. Okay. He's not the biggest threat right now, but once we eventually... I say once we eventually get the radar, he'll be a problem. But there's going to be so many treasures on the... F oh! Where did you even come from? I'm glad I noticed you now, because... Otherwise, if you had ended up at my base and ate all my Pikmin, I would have been very sad. 
Alright, come on over. Actually, you might be stuck on the Imamuda. You are. I will absolutely... Sorry, I heard Boldman freaking out, but I didn't say any. Uh, I'll take that gate down in a minute. Oh god. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. And that's why bumblers suck, because the second they grab you, your Pikmin are just like, oh, time to go do whatever we want. Don't get crapped by the other antenna beetle, please. Okay. I swear I still hear a loose Baldman, but surely not. Oh, we got sheer wigs too. Oh, sheer wigs. Or grub. Sheer grubs. No! Oh my god, I could not kill him in time. Only lost to one, though. Not. The biggest deal. I still hear a Baldman. Am I crazy? Is he stuck under something? That's so bizarre. Do Boltman... Okay, they do show up on the map. They show up as green Pikmin spots. He must have, like, fallen through the map or something. I don't know. Very weird. Okay, well... We gotta be very particular about our plans here. That treasure is moving, that means that Dweevil's probably under it. Should just be using reds, but I don't care. Uh, wow, he is just chilling. Straight chilling. Um, rather than taking the whites for that... Yeah, because I've only got 19. So, one must have fallen into the ground. That sucks. Wait, no. He's right there. What is he doing? What are you doing? First of all, I'm shocked that you did not wake up the chrysanthemum sooner. Secondly, he's coming all the way over here. Oh my god. Is he stuck there now? Really? No, no, okay, he's okay. I was like, no, we're... We're not dealing with that right now. No, stop it. Alright, Fina's gonna do that. What is dying? Something keeps randomly dying and, like, adding to my counter of enemies killed. I have to assume it's, like, the Spectralids leaving, or, like, a Honey Wisp spawning, and... something, Or maybe something just spawned, like, out of bounds. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this Mana Leg spawn point. Ugh. I mean, it shouldn't be bad for, like, cover purposes. But it's gonna be a little scary. Though, the sooner we kill him, the sooner we get the Stellar Orb. Which would be pretty nice. Well, I'm gonna grab my whole gang and we're just gonna kind of step back here for a minute. Just on the off chance that our boy here decides to uh, go after them. Yeah. And to win it, let's go! And 
honestly shouldn't be terrible for cover, if nothing else. I'm just worried about him potentially walking out of bounds. Which seems like he's probably going to be very capable of doing. Ooh, ooh. We gotta go, guys. We gotta go! Oh, he's not done yet. Usually it's only three verse, but every once in a while he's like, Oh, I'll do four. Why not? Just keep on your toes. You like machine gun sounds? Because <laughs> this is going to be our life for the moment. He's so threatening. Okay, see, something else just died. I'm keeping an eye on that enemy count. It must be something walking out of bounds or, like, clipping through the ground. Because there's so much stuff in here. The likelihood of that happening is very high. Also, I cannot reach you with my purples. I only need, like, Another hit, pretty much. There we go. Alrighty. Another enemy down. One of the bosses down. Looking pretty good. I guess we can actually take this moment to take a couple treasures back. Shouldn't be using purples. Y'all are so slow. Once I unlock where the purple onion is, or, yeah, I might actually send not only most of these corpses back to it, but definitely the Emperor Bulblax's corpse, because that's going to be a lot of Pikmin from it. The Mumuda probably would be, too. Yeah, there we go. There's the light bulb. Look how bright everything is now. Incredible. Might as well start gathering some of the treasures. Three volatile dweevils all right next to each other. Incredible. Yeah, we got the white onion, so we can actually make some good Pikmin there. I'm going to go ahead and set these three off, just so that they don't somehow end up spooking me later. And if nothing else, we can use y'all to kill this guy too. Say that's just a straight up dead end, but it's the yellow candy pop bud and the. I forget what it's called. It's a cookie, yes, but. I saw something blue in the distance. What was that? Hold on. My first thought was blue onion, but I don't think that was blue onion. I think that might have been. Oh, I think it's a marble, actually. Oh. Uh. When did y'all decide to start taking something back? I mean, cool, I won't scoff at more white Pikmin, but... Please be careful. You never know when there's going to be enemies that might want to murder you. Uh, I don't have enough to get both of these back at the moment. That's a purple in there. No wonder it's going so slow. Okay, let's get the rest of our gang. Um, how about this? I really don't want to deal with this guy. So I could probably just... Let's think about it. What are some, like, absolutely going to need to bitter sprays? The Groink, probably. The Spotty Bull Bear, unless we're close to an Onion. But even still, he might be worth killing with a bitter spray. I just don't have a ton of Pikmin power here at the moment. I also grabbed a purple somehow. That's cool. I kind of don't want to risk getting everyone murdered 
Like, even with Bitter Sprite, he has taken a hot minute to die. Pun was not intended, but I'm happy it kind of happens. Um, okay. Oh, hello. I think you count as an enemy. Hello, boulders. First of all, it did, but the counter went down two ticks instead of one. Do the boulders count? I see a jelly float over there. Uh, I'm good right now. I'm going to wait on that path. And yes, everything is kind of like deloading and loading as I get closer to it. And that's just to uh, save some processing power, because otherwise this kind of chunks a little bit. Um, I guess we'll just go in this general direction. There we go. Oh. I forgot to mention, I love the little emoticons you've got. The little foxtail and the little, little cozy blanket one. Big fan of the vibes. Oh boy. So many gates! Good god! <laughs> uh, that dirigibug could be useful to us, depending on what's around. Well, no, he's kind of just stuck in his own little box of emotions. Never mind. Uh, oh, hello. You're not an enemy, I don't think. Well, I don't think you count as one, at least. But I might be able to get some sprays from you if I can hit you. Or if I pick them just a side to... Okay, pull out the purples, obviously. Okay, not right now. We don't know if it's completely safe. There we go. Spray is good. Yeah, I don't think he counted. Oh, that's right, the dumple's right there. Ooh, the dumple is right there. Good thing I got my sound up. Okay, that was my goal. I was hoping I could stun him, and thank God it worked. Now, should I convert a Pikmin color into purples, or use some of my Boltman? Excuse you. See, stuff is... Oh wait, maybe that was the treasure I sent back, probably. Um, I mean, both men are invaluable, but we can afford a couple to turn to purple. And there's probably going to be... There should be like one or two other patrolling bold men, I think. Okay. Something else just died. See, that's what I'm talking about. Stuff is randomly dying and I have no idea why. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, everyone who's seen a Pikmin Let's Play or has Let's Played Pikmin knows about this trick. The double captain spray get. Also, someone is carrying something. Can we stop for a minute? I know y'all want to take the treasure back, but... Now is not the safest time. Oh, that's right, we're missing one purple because he got eated. By a sh male sheer, sheer grub of all things. Okay, so objective needs to be kill everything as fast as we can, essentially, because the sooner everything dies means the sooner we can safely start taking stuff back. There's Rob's head. Oh, I see that in the top. I see two big problems in the top left right now. Well, one of them vanished from view, but the other one is quickly approaching. Okay, there's the purple candy pop, bud. God, they're loose. Them being loose is the worst. Which means that mom, yep, there she is. I didn't register that I could hear her snoring until just now. But the fact that they're loose is not... Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, you just clipped through the freaking wall! That's not okay! I just lost a purple because of you! Literally just clipped right through the freaking wall. Okay, well, we're about to have it. Okay, that one just did too. No, 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 no. Okay, this is a problem, this is a problem. Problem, 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 problem. Uh, okay, please go away, Fire Geyser. Okay, can we just make... Oh. Ah, no, 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 now he's another purple. No. 
I mean, well, we probably will at some point. But right now, maybe not. I just want to clear out a little safe space for, him for the moment. Okay, there's no guarantee that those babies won't start, you know, what did I just see? Oh, it's the Rusty Gulch. You don't see me, do you? Wow. You have an absurdly large view radius. It's pretty crappy. I mean, so does the Puffy Blowhog, but thank God it doesn't see me right now. Oh, hey, cat. Okay. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Maybe the, the enemy count going up and down... Well, not up, but going down was... Maybe the babies were spawning out of bounds? Okay, I'm gonna hang tight there for a minute. Because we know that area is safe for the moment. Oh. Very treasure. Uh, hello? That's good. Okay, definitely don't need to carry that back right now. But we will do that later. Okay, we gotta deal with her ASAP. They put her in such a crappy place to deal with. I say they like someone purposely did all this to me, but no, it's just... It's just RNG. I'm not gonna worry about the bread bug too much right now. Ideally, we don't want to have him, like, have access to the whole cave to just run around in. That... Oh, and there's water, too! That's fan-freaking-tastic. Um, okay. We're gonna have to be very particular about what we do here. They are still... Okay, something else died. I mean, you don't have a teammate to electrocute right now, but you gotta die anyway. Okay, let's do this. I don't think she's making more babies at the moment, which is nice. Oh, there was a few more than I initially thought. Oh, wait, hold on. I hear... Wait, what? Oh, she's the one that wakes up and then decides to go back to sleep at random intervals. Okay, so you're going to be even more of a threat than I originally thought. Okay, um, I'm going to actually wake this dude up. And yes, I am going to waste a bitter spray, which is probably stupid. Pardon me one moment, my cat is deciding right now is a good time to mess with everything. Get right back. Stop. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to start hiding all my stuff in drawers because you just will not stop messing with them. Phone case on the floor. I just realized this whole time I wasn't wearing my glasses. That's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take this so we don't screw with it. Stop. Okay. Now that's sort of handled. I actually grabbed myself a drink while I was up. Okay. Let's deal with the current threat that we have to deal with. Probably a waste of bitter spray. In fact, definite waste of bitter spray. But oh, this is no, 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 no. Okay, this is definitely. The one that's going to cause boulders to come down when she rolls. So, we need our crew here to be safely out of the way. Okay, she's going back to sleep, which is good. She can't make babies while she's asleep. That is a scientific fact. Here's the plan. We're going to stand in this... Uh, I don't want to be too close, because I literally don't know where those boulders are going to come down. Oh, 
Wake up. Putting her in water is a nice, interesting, uh, extra difficulty. Wait, hold on, no boulders? Okay, something just died again. I'm still so concerned about whatever that is. Okay, this actually isn't that big a deal. I probably could have done this with purples and reds, but I don't quite want to risk my non-water safe pick my uh waterproof Pikmin. Speedrunning this mod is definitely on my list at some point, but a lot of practice needed first. Something else died. It's got to be the babies or something small or, I don't know, something that's just probably clipping out of bounds. I'll take it, though. Makes my job easier. Unless something glitches and I can't find it and I'm running around looking for one enemy to kill at the very end. Speaking of which, there goes something. And it's not the babies behind her, because I would see their little corpses flying away. Or not corpses, their souls flying away. Oh, watch out, guys. I wonder what the potential for doing this deathless, this whole hack, would be. Because that would be cool. Alright, this one should drop the rush boots, I believe. Wait, no, hold on, what? She dropped the... She dropped the detector. Why? This is supposed to be the one that drops the, the rush boots, because the one that doesn't make babies has the detector. Oh, this sucks! I need more blue Pikmin slash Boldmen, because it takes 35 to carry that, and I don't have enough to get it out of the water yet. Okay, so we're going to have to... And that's a really useful treasure to have. I mean, right now, not so much, because there's treasure everywhere, so we don't exactly need, you know, the detector. Well, okay, so we got the ranging cloister. Well, one of them. I saw the spotty bull bear go by. There's the silencer. That's usually what the cropster has, but not this time. Where do the... Okay, chrysanthemum jelly float. Where did the bull bear go? He ran off into the distance somewhere. That's terrifying. I want to keep tabs on that guy constantly. Why did I just see over there? What is that? Oh, well, there's bull bear. What am I seeing over there? Oh, it's a fiery bolt lax, but the rendering is quite in the way. Okay, those are just female shear grubs. Honey wisp. Hello. You will have to die at some point, that is a promise. What? I took away your toy of my earbuds and now you're mad? Yeah, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna bail on the blues for a minute. When we get to the blue candy bar... Actually, hold on. Where is the blue onion? It's way back where I started. Uh, so what's over here? No more onions over this way. We've got the red. And the geyser is on the map, but you don't actually unlock the geyser until you get the key back that... uh. The BD Longlist drops. Oh, those things are dead already because it dropped a bomb rock next to them. I was like, why Why are they not attacking the electricity? Okay, might as well kill these. Easy peasy. You know, some of the random enemy deaths could very well be from the Ridgebugs dropping bomb rocks or just any of the random traps that happen here. Ah, no, 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 no! Okay. I was like, I almost risked all my bold men to save the one bold men that was right there. But we don't let even a single bold man die. Except for what it inevitably happens, and I feel really bad about it. Also, I'm terrified that that Wally Walk's going to eventually clip over the wall. I've seen them do it. 
Okay, there's a blue candy pop bud. That'll help out. I'm halfway afraid of opening this path in case it loops back to where... Please, relax. You know I'm filming. No. Chill. I get that you're upset that I took away your toy, my very expensive piece of equipment that you're not allowed to play with. Ooh, I don't trust him. I think he can eat them through gates. Unless they kind of, like, patch some of that out. Here's the problem. The bull bear does technically have a path to us if it comes around this way. Relax. Oh, my God. Hey, stop. Stop. You've got two scratchers, literally two. And you've got your little fish toy that you can play with. You've got plenty. And you've got the rest of the house. You don't need my earbuds. I promise. I'm not sure what path I should be taking first here. Let's, uh... I can go over this way, I guess. Hey! Please. I love you dearly, but you need to chill. You need to chill. You can't freak out 24-7. As a cat, I know that's very difficult to not do, but still. Okay, so... Yeah, we got over there. I haven't really explored. This might just kind of curve back towards where I started. Which I will not scoff at, because having another way back would be nice. Uh, presumably a treasure in here. Um, I'm shocked. Really? Nothing? Kind of wild. Yeah, this is kind of a shortcut. I mean, having the blue onion open would be nice. <clears throat> but we could definitely get by with bulb men and some blue candy pop buds. Oh, I've also got some pigment back here. Wait, what? <laughs> what did y'all take back? I've got 15 blues and I've got 11 bulb men. So yeah, still not enough for the detector, unfortunately. But we'll get there. Okay, getting these purples flowered up is priority number one. Uh, oh man, disbanding should be so much better than it is. Okay, some of the purples decided not to go with the rest of the group, but that's okay. Here's the objective. Hopefully that kills both of y'all. Okay. Got the craw mad. Okay. There's her. I knew I heard her. <laughs> craw mad's down, so that should make this section manageable. Bollywog does not have a whole lot of health left. That feels dangerous. I don't know why. Uh, could I please entice you to come over here? Yeah, I know. I see her. The boss music stinger was probably not super necessary, because I do in fact see her. Okay, really? Really? All of that? And well, Dude, oh my god. Sometimes they just refuse to let you go. Oh god, I hear and see him. I don't know if you can tell, but did you see that kind of like dust field in the distance? Oh, please tell me he's, like, contained. Uh, something died. Wait, what it- huh? What in the world? Oh my god, the wraith killed them. The wraith killed them. That's what's happening! That's why the numbers keep changing. The wraith is going around murdering everything. Also, he killed the Gatling Groink. But because the Gatling Groink- Good god, here's where all the babies are. Because the Gatling Groink, uh, regenerates when it dies- it's not super helpful currently. Which means we're going to have to kill the Groink with either a Bitter Spray so we don't have to carry him back. Or uh, we'll have to hope that there's an Onion close by. Actually, he's not too far from the, the Blue Onion. 
They might be able to make that work. Quit tearing up stuff. Ever since this past holiday season, she's just decided, oh, your bed is free entertainment for me. I can destroy it whenever I so please. Okay, uh, no. Here's, uh, here's what we want to do. We will leave the captain there to potentially distract the larva. I am shocked none of y'all caught on fire. Okay, I def- Oh, wait, 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 bad, 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 bad. Okay, uh, okay, this is bad. They are officially free. That's extremely bad. Yeah, Groink's awake again, okay. Um, okay, we gotta deal with her as fast as possible, because otherwise... Okay, please just disband separately. Oh my god. Okay. Please decide to keep going after... Okay, good, good, good. They are distracted. Okay, that withering blowhog is actually gonna really suck. Oh, okay, there's more of y'all. Cool. Oh my god. Either go back to sleep, or give me a second to come over and beat the crap out of you. Oh, this sucks. I'm halfway tempted to open that wall and see if I can get the Wraith to come in and, uh... Okay, cool! The groin can shoot over the freaking wall! Awesome. Okay, well, my original plan was gonna... Ugh. I need to be very particular about this. Oh, this sucks, because there's so many. There's so many. Coming from this wall would probably be smarter, honestly. Okay, uh, here's the plan, here's the plan, here's the plan. We're gonna move you out of the way. So now, oh wait, I just remembered. I just remembered, I just remembered! This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. They're still coming. They're just babies. They should not be that big of a deal. But they are. They can kill Pikmin super fast. And they do good captain damage, which is not great. I just need to ensure that they're all over here next to Vaporeon. So that Pepino can bring the purples in and do what needs to be done. Man, I really wish she would just go back to sleep. Babies are coming. Growing kids too. I, I literally, I cannot do anything else right now. Just stop for a minute! I don't think I've ever fought the babies with purples. It's such a terrifying concept. Okay, I gotta move. I don't know how far she can roll. Okay. Yep. She can... What, my tights? From where? Oh, the egg that was up there broke into my tights. Okay. Okay, the Wraith killed the Groink again, so that's why we're not dealing with him right now. Thank God. Also extremely thankful she's not dropping boulders. And no, there is not a way to get Captain Health back when you're in a cave. So, what we've got is what we've got. Good news. A lot of nectar. Vaporeon, I'll grab you in a minute. No. 
Thank God. Okay. I cannot believe we didn't lose a single Pikmin there. Like, that's genuinely incredible. Uh, the Rush Boots aren't anything too special. Good to know that the... Uh, good to know that the Blue Onion is essentially being guarded by both a Groink and the Water Wraith. I don't know where he is in there, but he's somewhere back there. Also, something just died. Okay, he's he's over there. I could deal with him now, actually, is the thing. I've got purples. But the smarter thing to do, since I'm out of Bitter Spray, I definitely wasted one using it on the Withering Blowhog, but I kind of didn't know what else to do there. The smarter thing to do would be let the Groink revive, let the Wraith kill him again, and then take on the Wraith. The Wraith will drop the Plucophone, which is a nice, nice, nice upgrade. Um, let's us whistle Pikmin out of the ground. Something else just... Something d Oh no, that was him coming back. Yeah. Okay, we need to be... I should deal with that area too. I want to I wanna watch for when he gets murdered. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you just barely missed him! Okay. Uh, while I'm waiting, I probably should... This is a terrible room. Oh my god. Come here. No, no, no. Yeah, he's just kind of... He's just straight chilling. He's got a big radius too. Like, see, he sees me. Now he doesn't. I want to watch for when the Wraith kills him and then... Oh, which might be now. Might be now! We're going to go for it. Yep, there he is. Alright, Groink is dead. Uh, we're gonna wait a sec, because Wraith can climb over when it's just one segment left on the wall. Which is why I ended up not... Oh, wait, no, no, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, using the Wraith to kill more... No, not the Cropster! Why are you in here too?! Oh, this is bad. This is extremely not good. Okay, he killed the Cropster. Never mind. Okay, I need you to get vulnerable again. Okay, I see the Cromat over there. I cannot believe they put the Cropster in this room, too. No, 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 no. We're dealing with you right here, right now, because otherwise... You're going to go who knows where. Also, I don't have a ton of time left before the Groink comes back to life. Dude, that Cromat is going to end up coming after one of my Pikmin in a sec, and I'm not going to be ready for it. There's a second Groink! No way! No way there's a second Groink! No! No, 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 no. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Uh, okay, um... Uh, God, I'm not actually ready for this. I'm not ready. Oh, no. Okay. Um. Here he comes. We're just gonna have to do our best. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay. He's dead. Which is great. The problem is, that other Groink is about to wake up. Also, there's an antenna beetle over there. Which is, yep, there he is. This is an incredibly deadly set of rooms. Okay, there's a chrysanthemum, antenna beetle, uh, oh, a bunch of other stuff died over there too because of the wraith. Uh, god, is there any way I can take this back? Like, fast? Okay, that's pretty quick. What's our closest onion? The yellow onion, which isn't currently super accessible. And then the white onion. I could just kind of ferry him all the way back because it's going to take longer to get to the pool. What if I went around? What if I went around? Uh, no, oh, he's going to come back very soon. Okay, oh, uh, we got a, we got a bogey. 
I need to clear out this room, get us access to the yellow onion. Actually, no, we do have access. It's just there's a bunch of enemies that will get in our way. Call you all off. Try to conserve our flowers. Though if we ever need more nectar, we can just go to our little alley right over there where all the babies died. Okay, okay, okay. Let's... Oh, cool. You actually swallowed? No, no, no. I was doing so much damage. He should have just shaken. Oh my god, normally if you do enough damage, he'll just drop the Pikmin he's trying to eat. That's great. Oh, and Beatty is here too! No, don't attack his feet. Don't attack his feet. This is extremely not a good time right now. Oh god, how many was that? I gotta get out of here before I lose all my purples. Oh, wait. Both my captains are here. Awesome. I thought we were split up. Okay. Out, 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 out. Theoretically, I can keep the Groink uh, stored off camera. But I don't want to... Okay, this is a dead end. This is a dead end. Okay, I literally have to run around and grab my Pikmin before the Groink decides to wake up. Which he... Definitely has. Okay. Uh, the fact that I don't see him is terrifying. Oh, they're attacking. They're attacking the feet. No, no, no. I mean, I could theoretically fight him with the purples, but that just sounds miserable, so we're not going to. Okay. I need to gather everyone and go somewhere slightly safer. We're just going to kind of sit there for a sec. Okay, we're going to rendezvous at our starting point. Which means the purples are just going to make... Oh, God, the purples were going to cut a different path back, but it's starting to become way more of a hassle than it should be. Okay, if you are so interested in death, I will happily give it. I hate how many purples I've been losing. Excuse me, is that the Doomsday apparatus being carried by a Dweevil? That's really funny. That must be a strong Dweevil, except it, except it doesn't take a thousand Pikmin for this mod. I think, I think in this mod it's only 50? Or it's scale... I know a lot of the treasures, if not all the treasures, will scale how many Pikmin you need to carry them based on, like, how many Pikmin you have with you, so that you don't essentially softlock. Also, I was trying to... Apparently you can just hit a Bloister's body itself to hurt it. Okay, we'll do that. Um, so where are they? They're over there. Um, I could theoretically reconvene. I'm terrified of this section. Uh, I mean, the sooner we can deal with the rampant groink issue, the better, but I'm also terrified to go back there. Um, okay. Let's, let's be pretty particular about this. Okay, you're definitely the biggest threat there. You're not a big threat, but... No! Oh my god, dude, really? Really, with the getting thrown off the side of the... Yeah, no, we're... No, 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 he can come over! Oh, my tights. Do y'all... Oh, I don't think y'all count as enemies. No, y'all don't. Okay, this will give y'all something to do. Okay, well... Things aren't going ideally well. Okay, yeah, very, very stupid of me 
to do that, but I'm kind of over it. I kind of want to just get everyone together and move on with my life. Do not. Do not. All right, the Bloister is still there. Oh, he's still up there? Dude! Okay, I thought for sure he was about to crush someone. Oh my god. Okay, only 50. Not bad, not bad. I'm really worried that someone's gonna get launched off the side of the map again. No, hit the enemy, please. Thank you. Wait, why is your bulb changing colors? That's a new one. There we go. And now it's purple. Bizarre. Okay. Wait, you count as an enemy. Hey, it's my tights. No! This is a really bad place for that to happen, actually. And I don't want to throw anyone for risk of... Oh my god! Oh my god. My tights pretty much never an issue uh, until that. Oh my god, and there's so much crap all over the ground. This is absurd. Um... I have to check all these little... Oh, there's a ranging blister. Hmm. I still have to deal with the spotty bull bear. I've still got two now loose Gatling Groinks. Okay, um, dealing with that electricity is going to suck because he's right there puppy guarding it. Well, I guess I can open this up. This might be a safe little alcove to hang out in. Might be, is the emphasis. Dude, they could just drop raging long legs. Uh, raging long legs on me. Nope, there's a yellow volley log. Not safe. My first objective should be getting each of the onions accessible. But... <laughs> there's problems everywhere I go. I really should go deal with the growings. Oh, I forgot Beatty's here too! Okay, I really just wanted to, like, you know, disband my Pikmin. Some good damage. That's some very good damage. There we go. Right. I hear the groinks. Oh, it's close. They're both close. I hear them both. How close are we talking? Are they actually... Okay, there's one. I was about to say, is the render distance keeping me from being able to see it, or... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, he's coming over. I'm going to be ready for him, though. I've got so few purples. It is not a good time. Okay, you need to come in. Oh, okay. You can just clip through the wall, apparently. Wow, he did not get stunned at all. The other one's coming. We gotta, we gotta book it, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 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 um. Okay. Are you gonna also clip through the wall? That'd be super cool if you did. Okay, hey, hurry it up. I gotta take that corpse back before he comes back to life. Yep, he can just... Is it that wall in particular? Is it y'all? Like, what's... What is the reasoning behind that? Also, you... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, no, no! Okay. And they're not light, either. Like... Please. Just, I don't care. Just get these guys taken back ASAP. 
You know what? I might as well honestly take the snag their head back while I'm at it. Okay. That's gonna be a lot of yellows. But that's fine. Uh, here's the other plan. I'm actually going to send the key back with the whites real fast, because they're speedy. I might as well gather up all these guys. Will be helpful for the Titan Weevil, which I'm just now realizing we still haven't... What path are we all taking? Yeah, I guess that is the fastest way. Okay. Well, they're fine. Oh boy. Uh, that was very bizarre. Yeah, so we can see where the geyser is on the map, but we can't actually access the geyser until you get the key, much like challenge mode in Base Pikmin 2. Also, I get a... I get an error every time that happens. Hopefully it's not a big deal. Um, okay, I'm gonna move these things out of the way for a sec, because I cannot actually reach that sprout. I'm probably going to eventually have to put some yellows up, because I've got so many. Also, if I had the knapsack, which sadly this uh, snack rat did not drop, I could technically use that as a sort of go here function for one of my captains, which would be pretty nice considering how big this cave is going to be. I feel like this is one I'll very easily forget, so I'll just have you send it back. Give you something to do. Okay, I kind of wish you could see hazards on the map too, so I could judge like who I need to take with me and where. We'll uh we'll look around with a captain first, okay? That uh volleyball is gonna be a problem. Okay, that's the doomsday apparatus. That's the then we got the path that leads to the Ranging Bloister. Okay, now that the Groinks are out of commission, let's go check over where the blue onion is. Science projects. It kills me to not take a lot of these treasures back, but I'm just gonna... Oh, it actually does need three. But I'm gonna wait until I clear out the enemies, or at least most of the enemies, because otherwise it's going to be a huge hassle to get stuff through. Uh, apparently there's a buried treasure there. That's cool, and I will go ahead and unearth it so that I'm not looking for it later and wondering where the hell it is. But at the same time, there's hazards right there that we want to watch out for. Oh, that's right! I forgot I even took out the Cropster and the, the Wraith. I gotta send these things back for sure. The Globe from the Cropster gives you faster carrying speed, which is absolutely necessary. Um, oh, and the Rush Boots. I might as well get these back too. If anything, it's kind of more of a hindrance to have, but it is a power-up. And it will make things nicer for the captains to run around and look for stuff. Man, they're going slow. Yeah, okay, I'm going to slow you down a bit just so I can speed up the rush boots some more. Okay. A little better. Yeah, the rush boots increase your captain's walking speeds. Um, and then for this mod, the globe half that the segmented crops drops speeds up your carrying speed. Which, ideally, I should have taken that back ASAP, but I kind of had some, you know, problems to deal with. Also, the Emperor... I need to start making more purples, absolutely. So... Stuff like the the boss carcasses will give you the most Pikmin, because they're the most valuable. Also, look how much that sped up. Hell yeah. Okay, we're going to sit there for a sec. Yeah, and 
our captains are pretty sweet, you know. Okay. So this area, the uncanny pop bud, antenna beetle that we need to deal with when we can. Okay, it's just now loading in a bunch of the enemies that the Wraith killed because they were off camera. So this is going to add to our count. Oh, he killed the giant bread bug too! Dude was busy. I was halfway tempted to just kind of like let him roam around the rest of the map, but with how many Pikmin I had, oh, please don't wake up, and uh, with how slow everyone is, I really didn't want to risk it. But he did some good damage in this area. He even killed a snitch bug and the giant bread bug. Oh! Okay, he killed some stuff in there too. Okay. Sadly, not everyone. I, I like this layout. It's pretty looking in here. I don't know why I'm expecting Pikmin to be in there. Okay. This room's not too crazy important right now. We'll uh, get to this when we get to it. He also destroyed the poison generator, so that's nice. The Cropster's corpse being taken back would be good for Pikmin. Like, super good. Same with the Empress. And now that carrying speed has been upped, I'll probably send a bunch of purple uh, Pikmin around with corpses to up their numbers, because we want as many of those guys as we can get. Okay, um, there's a red bug. How fast are a few purples? That's pretty speedy for five purples on a corpse like that. That's not bad. Okay, look how fast white Pikmin are with the speed upgrade, that's incredible. Alright. He left bread bug the old fashioned way. Something exploded over there. Oh, it's a derage bug. Oh, look at all the treasures that bread bug got. Okay, I want to keep an eye on the purples. I think I've cleared out everything around the purple candy pop bud, but just on you know the safe side, I want to be around them. Uh, that's a wall. It's hard to tell. Sorry. They're making good time for being purple Pikmin. Also, good lord, how many of y'all got stuck right there? I think it's safe. Oh, yeah, yeah. I came in here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Is that ranging? That's another ranging bloister. Okay. So, how many are we thinking? Thirty. That's thirty free purples from an emperor, and there's going to be multiple emperors, so that's not bad. Uh, guys, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but not right now. Besides, what I need to do. Okay, wasn't really trying to. All right. Once we get to the end, and we don't really need as many of the other types, we will use. Every white candy pop bud we can, we will um, take a bunch back to the white onion, and then we'll use the whites to round up all the treasures, because they'll be the fastest. Also, we have almost 200 Pikmin out with us. Incredible. Hold on, getting a message. Oh, the Sonic Frontiers... First update comes up, or uh, first like DLC update comes out this week. That's cool. I will need to reinstall. I 100% of that game, so I uninstalled it for some space. But I'm definitely looking forward to, to the DLC, and I think Blaze is going to be a playable character, so I'm down for that. I didn't grow up with Sonic. I haven't played a lot of Sonic games like multiple of my friends have, but I've gotten into it lately. Played a little bit of Colors, played Mania, um, played a few of like the GBA like Advance games, I think. I realize I just said Game Boy Advance Advance. Think about that. Um, like, I think they were called Sonic Advance, because I remember like there was some 
like Cream was a playable character and Amy and Knuckles. I don't really remember much else though. Okay, here's the current objective that I'm going to shoot for. Here's the not as important Pikmin hanging out with Vaporeon. And then our 59 purples. God, they're so slow. Our purples are going to try to make some magic happen. Okay, that was actually concerning at first, but you coming over here is not bad, actually. Wait, actually, it kind of is, because the rest of my Pikmin are over there. I need you to come down so my purples can hit you easier. Are you stuck? Like, actually stuck, or pretend stuck? Like, if I go up there, are you gonna start moving all of a sudden? Oh, very treasure. Oh, he's just in a different realm right now. Oh, thank god. I was like, I have a lot of flowers, and I don't want to lose them. And also, the other good thing for having all Pikmin be whites um, at the very end will mean we can find the rest of the buried treasure we're missing. Oh, you're going to gatekeep this path pretty hard, aren't you? Yeah, this is... Oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a horrible mistake. Oh, okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Um, okay. Here's the plan. No longer the plan! Is it coming over? Surely not. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it is. Uh, please hit the wall. Please hit the wall. I need you to hit the wall. I need you to hit the wall. Oh god. Okay, I need Olimar and the rest of our gang to get further back, clearly. Um, I'm gonna leave the purples there for a second. Okay, clearly this guy is gonna be a bigger threat than I originally anticipated him being. But we can use him. I would use him to hit the Bloister, but... The candy pop bud is literally blocking us, so that sucks. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. I'll deal with you when the time comes. You too. This feels like a boss. Nope. Okay. Okay, so this is the end of the generation over here. Like, this is as far as this path goes, I believe. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a little bit more over there. Meh. Okay, that very well could be the Mamuda that has the Brute Knuckles, but we won't know for a while. Man, I would love to use that Cannon Beetle for uh, good rather than evil, but he's not really in a great place. Okay, that's the room with the Silencer. I think this is the general location that the Spotty Bull Bear is in, now that I'm kind of remembering that. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I definitely should map out as much as I can, so I kind of have a general idea. Oh god, I didn't even notice you. Oh, this room sucks. Oh, this room's terrible. Oh, that room is all about being terrible. Okay, uh, I might have made a mistake. Okay, there's another beady. Hmm, definite mistakes. Honey Wisp, I'm going to have to deal with at some point. Okay, I'm taking the long way around, apparently. Ooh. I might actually call this stream soon. Like, I'm enjoying this, but at the same time, I've been going for a while. Holy moly. So, that's the end of the route that way, but we've got... We've got some problems over there, including a Bloister and a BD. There's still some more stuff over here. There's a whole big chunky area I haven't seen yet, including the Red Onion. That, I think, is technically a dead end. It leads to a room with another Bloister. But then we've got a bunch of little offshoot paths that would lead over here. This feels like a Hollow Knight map. So let's, let's think about it for a sec. Um, oh, wait, and the giant bread bug. I didn't see the dream material next to him. I don't think he dropped it. Are there multiple giant bread bugs? And I'm just forgetting? Or maybe he died and then a regular bread bug took his treasure? 
I don't remember. What big bosses are we missing? Um, I think we're missing another Empress, or have I killed three? I can't remember. There's definitely more Emperors. The Raging Long Legs has still not shown up, so I've either missed him somewhere, or like, I mean, there are a couple little paths I haven't taken yet. Or he's in this big area. The Titan Dweevil, of course, we haven't found yet. But we'll we'll know when we see him because those little like butterflies are next to him. Um, I think there's another man at legs. There might be another BD. There's only one Crobster, I think. So we're fine there. There's only one Water Wraith. We haven't found the Pileated Snaggrit yet. Plus, there's another. There's going to be multiple other regular Snaggrits. Pileated's going to be a problem. Um, is there anyone else in Forkenny? Well, I guess I can look at the items. I mean, I just realized I plucked all those Pikmin earlier. All 60-something purples. I've got the Plecophone. So we haven't found the Emperor that has the Scorch Guard. We haven't killed the Bloisters yet, one of which has the Mega Tweeter. We need the Dream Material, wherever that is. The Pileated has the Justice Alloy. Brute Knuckles is in one of the Mamudas. Knapsack is in one of the Snagrits. We know where the radar is. I need to take it back at some point. And then the other globe half, the Ranging has. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide what my next course of action should be. I want to start... I want to head over to where the Red Onion and the Geyser are. Like, I want to get that stuff unlocked. And once I've got, like, the whole map open to me, then we'll really start making some progress. I really shouldn't be going in here with such a big group. Oh my god, the Anna beat. No! You got two of my boys! Through the wall! I mean, at least they were bald men, but still, that hurts even more, it feels like. Oh, hello. Well, clearly I made the mistake of going with the not right pigment. Excuse you? And I'll deal with you while we're here. You're like going through him. Oh, that one works. Oh, wait, excuse me. I have no idea where your nest is, but I'm sure plenty of treasure is going to appear. Oh, it was right there. Good lord. Yeah, you had like five things. Okay, we need to be careful about this, because that Snagrid is going to show up somewhere in this little corridor, and we got a lot of very slow Pikmin with us. Oh no, do you see those glowies? Do you see those glowies? Do you see those glowies? Oh god, I see him. I see the Titan. No, I'm hitting you with a lot of Pikmin. You should drop them! Dude! Are the Snagrits coded different in this, or am I just playing bad? Okay, there's the knapsack. We'll take that back very soon. Not the most helpful upgrade, but it's an upgrade nonetheless, and I can definitely find use for it. There is another giant bread bug. Okay, so that one has to have the anti-electrifier. He's just kind of locked up in his own little segment of the map. <laughs> Poor guy. boulders, apparently. Oh, that is a horrible place to put a crop at. And I th is that the same bull bear? It probably is. It might be a second one. Hopefully not, though. Okay, this is a dead end, so we can safely open this up. Okay. 
right, be free, my dude. Oh, I just realized it's a cromad. So this is looking like this path maybe ends. No, I wasn't trying to get your attention, but I... There he is. I'll deal with him while we're here. Please don't prioritize the treasure right now. Prioritize the giant loaf of bread. And y'all get some serious distance. Woo. The decorated canopy will find like hot wind of us. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, pardon. Alright, there's the dream material. I keep going back and forth deciding if I want to call it the actual treasure name or the power-up name, apparently. Very suspicious dead end. Okay, there's the prototype detector over there. Here's the deal. Um... See, it's kind of hard to tell, but see the little, like... Well, now you can't see him, really. Oh, that was weird. It was not loading that room at all. <laughs> oh, this room looks huge. Oh, if there was ever a time to throw Raging Long Legs at me, this would be it. Hopefully. Hopefully he gets an actual arena and not a tiny corner of the map. Spectral says, there's the red onion. It's not going to help us out anytime soon. Oh, look, you can see the treasures under the ground over there. And Louie! It's hard to tell, but see the... Oh, there's the legs. See all the little glowies kind of flying around him? Those, I don't know if they have an official name, but they're these tiny little kind of like butterflies that only show up around the Titan Dweevil. Like... They're just hard-coded to be around him, essentially. And so if you see those, you know he's close. Oh god, I just realized you... Two of my Pikmin clipped through the edge and fell off the map. Awesome. I love when that happens. Okay, our current objective is definitely not going to be going in there. Um, he needs to not notice me. We've got a lot of yellows. Let's just have him do something. Okay, we'll take the knapsack back. That is fast for yellows. That's like base white Pikmin speed. So that's pretty impressive. Send the knapsack back. I want to get that dream material back too so that Electricity isn't a threat, because if we're going to take on the Titan to Weevil, we want to have some sort of, like, immunities. Ideally, all of them. Oh my god, okay, there's so much crap in here. Okay, the bull bear is stuck on something, which I'm totally cool with. I just find it odd. Alright. Uh, while we're here, we might as well... He is no longer stuck. Uh, no, I'm going to pass on that for right now. Thanks, though. Taking the giant bread bug's body back would be good for some Pikmin numbers. I need to be careful. I need to be actually pretty particular about who we give corpses to, because we want to make sure that we've got hazards covered and certain bosses. Is that the path I have to take? No, that's a dead end. So we have to go around if we want to get to... I, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and apparently miss. I'm going to go ahead and give this to the whites. 
who apparently don't know how to grab things. Come on. There we go. Mostly because it's right here, and also so we can kind of preemptively start working on our white numbers. Okay. So the actual... No, 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 you idiots. For the white Pikmin. There, send it to the whites. You want to go ahead and have some numbers there. I guess I'll give this one to the whites too, since it's right here. The more of these guys we have, the better. We officially have 200 in the field now. So we can start to... Oh man, having to, to deposit certain types to make space for others is going to be a huge pain. Like, oh man, I've got too many yellows. You know, I'll run over and I'll, uh, I'll put some away. Oh man, I need some more blues. Let's run over, which I'm going to actually have to do because... Well, we got Kenny Papa, so we've got a ways to do that. Because otherwise, the blues are over there. They're like, oh man, I need some reds. Run over there. Fight past the Titan to Weevil, practically. Because he's like right there, so I don't know if you have to like... I assume that curves around again, or maybe those do. I don't know. It wouldn't be a bad idea once I know for sure it's safe to like send some blues and other Pikmin that I need, like, more of each type for, and just, like, have them casually, in the background, take corpses back while I'm dealing with other things. Gives them something to do while I'm dealing with, like, the Titan Tweevil, for example. Or Raging Longlegs, who I still have not found yet. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, this is how I get to him. He's in a little corner. That's not terrible. But all the stuff around him, I'm worried about what will and what won't uh, activate him. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and like open this up. Deal with these guys. Oh, there was a, a sheer grub, apparently. Gotta go. Uh, hold on, I got a text message. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently one of the upgrades, or I guess updates for the new Frontiers DLC is they finally made it where you can choose multiple of like the ring or uh, speed upgrades to do at a time rather than having to do one at a time manually. That's super cool. I've already completely 100% at the game, so I had to do all that already as is. But very cool nonetheless. I like that. It was weird that that wasn't an option to begin with when you could do that with the other upgrades, but I'm glad they changed that. Um, I really need to, I really need to get my brain in gear here. The sooner we deal with that spotty bull bear, the better, because otherwise we're going to completely forget about it, and it's going to somehow find a way out of its enclosure and kill us. Oh, you know what? I'm getting some strong raging long legs feelings from this room. Surely I'm incorrect. But it's very possible. Also, yeah, dealing with him is going to be a huge pain. Because he's right behind that wall. Oh, also, you're right there. Bizarre. I didn't see... I was, I was checking with the overhead camera to make sure there wasn't an ambush waiting for me. But it didn't show him. Or I'm blind. Alright, I have a funny feeling about this room. Maybe I'm wrong. Nope, there's... My funny feeling was well-founded, 
it was just different than what I expected it to be. Oh, hello. No! That's baloney! First of all, you ate four Pikmin in a single gulp. That sucks. Secondly, the hell? You shouldn't be able to clip through stuff. Okay, you're going to the white Pikmin. Because they are the fastest. And we want to make sure you do not revive. And the white onions, pretty close. Yeah, it's the closest. Perfect. All right, get out of here, Stinky. That's baloney! You can't eat pick. You can't just clip through the wall. Here's the problem. I had. Oh, you're up there. I had the horrifying feeling that he was gonna do that, but I was like, surely not. And then he did it. Anyway. Oh, this is a problem. I need you to get stunned. I need you to get stunned. Okay, I kind of thought I could throw my purples higher than that. Okay, problems, problems, problems. There goes three more. We can make more purples, it's okay. Oh. I think I missed my chance. You're gonna make me actually have to get up there with you, huh? And now you technically come down, which is obnoxious, but all right. You will die before you eat anyone. Or you'll eat three even though you're dead. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, there's the justice alloy, if nothing else. That's super obnoxious. And there's a buried treasure right there. Cool. Take it home, gang. Now we take less damage, at least, which is nice. We're gonna up our purple numbers. Because we need to now, after that whole ordeal. Remind me where the purple onion is? It's over there, and there is a clear path to it, so we're fine. We will also take the bread bug corpse back. I want to open that wall, but it's not super safe right now. Might as well take this back, too. I'm not going to take all the corpses back, though I'm halfway tempted to consider doing that. But I want to at least... There we go. Now we take less damage. I think we only take a third of the damage we normally would, is how it works. Yep. I love the song. I hope it hasn't gotten obnoxious yet. I just I just kind of remembered that it's still playing. Why a candy pop bug? Not bad. We'll use that eventually. Uh, let's get, you know what? Let's go ahead and start gathering some stuff up, just because. I want to feel like I'm making some progress, so let's start taking some treasures home. Uh, excuse me? Pardon me? Someone want to tell me why there's a bull bear on top of that thing? Uh, thank God he's not free. Otherwise, oh my God, he would have eaten all my Pikmin. Is he stuck there, or is he going to find a way down and end up killing me? Because that's not what I want. Oh, we got some slowdown. What in the world is happening? Is it because so many treasures are being taken back at the same time? Uh, it's like Karma's slowed down now. Uh, that's not good. Maybe it's just all the treasures. Maybe once the treasures are done, getting taken back will be okay. Oh, this is feeling not super great. I know I'm using whites, but I'm going to try to kill you. Just in case my other Pikmin decide to come this way, I guess. Which I would not put past them. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. That was bizarre. Why was it so slow for so long? Okay, now it's super slow again. Maybe it's like... Maybe when more Pikmin than the base game are coded to, like, carry stuff, are carrying stuff, it jacks up. It definitely doesn't help that I've got 200 Pikmin on the field right now. Like, that's clearly not helping anything. Remind me where the yellow onion is? I need to put some of these yellows up, because they're not really helping. I mean, they'll be good for the Titan Weevil, for sure, when we're ready for him, but... I'm not quite ready yet. Oh, man. Chugging. Oh, there we go. And there's the Skippy. Where's the yellow onion? It's over there. Um, I really should get rid of that poison at some point. Oh, there's also still enemies in here I haven't dealt with. Ooh, I did not see... I did not see the other Blowhog. Oh, we might be losing Pikmin. Yeah, we're losing... Oh, wait, no, we're not. Well, yeah, we are. Dude, I was whistling him as he melted. That sucks. Yeah, we have got to clear these areas out. Where's the yellow onion? Oh, it's over there. I mean, if y'all want to do that, go for it, I guess. Oh, okay, stop. Stop. Come on, y'all. I know you're very slow, but work on it. Okay. I'm going to keep, like, 30 yellows on me right now. Um, yeah, I'm definitely... Why did you make the sound as if Pikmin were dying? That was very bizarre. While I'm over here, I probably should clear the path to the blue onion. That would not be a bad idea. No, no, no. Not y'all, though. I'm not interested in y'all. I knew this nectar would come in handy. The corpse for the cropster would be really nice. We'll give that to the blues for sure. And I will attempt to open this up without literally that happening. Boss stone. Okay. Please don't start immediately grabbing stuff. You idiot for coming over here. Thank you. I think that's the last antenna beetle, I think. I mean, we'll be able to tell once we get the treasure gauge taken back, which I will do once I get some more blues, which is why we're coming over here, because there's a method to my madness. I mean, there's also been queen candy pop buds and uh, cerulean candy pop buds. Or, sorry, what are they actually called? Lapis Lazuli Candy Pop Buds? So, there's other ways I could have handled that, I guess, now that I think about it, but... We're already over here. There's enemies and treasure over here. And we want to have access to all the onions, so we can make Pikmin as needed. Oh, wait, hold on. You took some of my boys. Okay. Try this again. Break. Uh, how many do you take? 20. Okay. Go ahead and take you back. Get the all over here. Um, actually, while we're waiting... Like I said, whites are going to be on treasure cleanup duty. So they're really good at it. Good. 
Oh, hold on. That's awful. Those are anode dweebles. And electricity is insta-kill in this game, so that's actually terrifying. Uh, yeah, good thing we brought the Goldman over here. Oh yeah, like, actually, actually terrifying. No, don't come anywhere near the rest of my Pikmin. No, 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 guys, 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 guys. Guys, now is not the time for that. I mean, he's technically not hurting anyone playing with that, but I'm gonna need that. Eh, wait, I've got electricity resistance, it's okay. Still don't have the Brute Knuckles. I saw another Mamuda earlier that I'm going to have to go after at some point. I keep running away, but I've got electricity resistance. It's okay. Ah, oh, dude, you were so close to being dead. There we go. Now we can live a little. Everything out of the water. Here. I can help out with that. Um, we're at almost two hours. I'm going to call it here real soon. I do want to keep playing. And the problem is there's not a way to, like, save your save. Well, I guess I could copy this. Well, no, there's no way to, like, save your progress in the seed. So if I were to leave, it'll reset, which is not good. Um, so what I'll probably end up doing is just kind of setting this to the side while I do some other stuff today. I do want to do this to completion, of course. But my brain is frying. Because, like, there's stuff you need to think about when you do Pikmin. And, like, there's stuff you'll typically do in a Pikmin run. But this gives you a lot of other things that you wouldn't normally do. And it puts a lot of things together that aren't normally together. Like... The Water Wraith and the Gatling Roigs, or Empress Ball Blacks and some Weathering Blowhogs. Uh, also, you being in the corner really sucks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it heard my plea and came down for me. Okay. Go the other way. Yes, thank you. Also, how did you take damage? <laughs> so, I need to test it. I wonder if you can... Uh, you can pick up bomb rocks like you in uh this mode like you can with uh uh wow i'm glad i heard the sound effect of the captain getting hurt because i had no idea he grabbed Pepino. i assumed they were both together and then i went hey there's only one captain here uh-oh okay my priority needs to be on killing all the enemies first obviously but Clearing some of these corpses and treasures out of the way is really nice. It makes it easier to go through places. And also it's satisfying to just take a bunch of treasures back. I also kind of wish you could uh, change the music mid-game, because although I love this, it is kind of driving me insane. Like, having the Wistful Wild or Perplexing Pool or Awakening Wood or even Valley of Repose would be a lot more just like, ah, chill, relaxing. Also, I feel like my commentary is really dipping. Have I been even talking? Okay, I want to take a big look at our map here. 
and ideally once I kill what I should be doing is like starting in one area of the map one quadrant and killing everything I can in those areas and then like progressing because otherwise if I keep going everywhere just all at once I'm gonna start missing stuff and then eventually I'm gonna have one enemy left to find or like a buried treasure or something Ooh, it's chugging there we go I would love to do like another boss before I call it and over here uh, that technically goes somewhere is it a dead end or an actual path? Oh, it's so oh no, it is somewhere. I think it's got like. Uh, wait, hold on. You wouldn't put raging long legs over here, would you? Surely not. Uh, surely you wouldn't, right? That's something only villains would do. can't get over there, so hopefully he's not in here. I don't think he is. Uh, you know what? I probably should just grab the treasure while I'm in here. Just uh, to clear this little alcove out. I mean, it very well could be like a Pikmin triggered spawn. Are you actually stupid? Are you are you stupid? Okay, well, those are dying, I guess. I've never seen Pikmin Pathing act that bad before. Like, they should have gone around. But they went straight into the water. That's so bizarre. I've never seen that happen. Well, I'll be making more white slaters. Not a big deal, I guess. A lot of treasure over there. I feel like with how many times we've run into the Ranging Bloister, I should probably finish the stream by taking one out. But let me see where the nearest one is and see how feasible we're talking. Oh, I thought you were just a nut. Turns out you have legs. Is this caustic or munge? It's caustic. Easy. Take it all back. Who cares? Just go. Just go. But um, I think we're actually not far from one of the bloisters. Are you? St he is still up there. And I could go that way. Oh, also, treasure in the wall. Wish that made like a tampering sound effect, that'd be nice. Uh, grab you while we're here, I guess. Maybe not. Oh, that's right, that's right. My objective was to get the treasure gauge, which maybe I should. Do I even have enough? Oh my god. No, wait, stop. I gotta get some of the blues off of you first. No, come back. I mean, at this point, I might as well just go all the way back to base. Also, I don't know who was following me, but hopefully they're fine. I'll just wait for this to come back at this point. It's right there. Check my text while I'm waiting. That super stick is exhausted. I still need to clear those enemies out at some point. I just... I haven't really felt like it yet. So where was the random Pikmin that was following me? Oh, right there. Let's do the thing. All right, so let's re-disband. Okay, dude, please. I don't want to lose everyone in these caverns. I'm trying to go for minimal pigment death, which clearly I'm not doing very well. 
but that is goal number three, essentially. Okay. First, make sure that gets out of the water so that anyone else can take it. Okay, I'm really concerned of... Okay, he is no longer... He is no longer trapped. Okay, that is extremely not good, but... They got pushed through the wall, out of bounds. That's awesome. I love when that happens. Literally right on the coattails of me saying, I want to have minimal pigment loss. No, you... Oh, he still managed to eat, too. You're the freaking worst. Okay, well, A, we need more purples, and B, the purple onion's pretty close. So, yeah, just go for it. I'm going to post up Pepino over here. No, I'm not giving you to the blues. Do you realize how far away... Y'all's onion is. No thanks. If this soap is like perma stuck in the wall, I'm gonna be furious. Oh, thank god. Uh, who would this go to? Just on a lark. No, not. We don't need more yellows. We don't. I will take more whites. That is who you're allowed to take it to. I said whites. There you go. I would definitely make more reds if it wasn't for the fact that the red onion is, oh, I don't know, in uh, enemy territory. I've got candy pop buds, though. Oh, look at that. Where are you suggesting that there's a... Surely it's not... Hold on. Is it buried in the tambourine? It is! I never would have thought to look there. That's incredible. I never would have thought that the generation would put it in the tambourine. That's crazy. Okay, well, good to know. Yeah. Uh, coming through sweeping with the whites after all said and done is going to be it's going to be an event in of itself <laughs> also probably should have saved the treasure gauge till the very end because now we're going to listen to the gauge going off constantly for the 140 almost 5 treasures that we have left still Oh, easy there. I think a lot of the lag also comes from when there's like a huge group of Pikmin all sitting in the same place. Like on their own. Because the lighting changes for that too because, you know, their stems all start to glow and everything. Okay, I'm going to call it here because we're at two hours and we have 140 treasures left out of... 201 so that's 61 treasures i ideally would have liked to have gotten up i mean we could we could probably get half i mean there's enough hmm, there's enough treasure just kind of laying around willy-nilly that we could probably pick up but at the same time i'm i'm exhausted and it's been two hours so i'm gonna call it here um and definitely pick more of this up uh, i don't know if i'll do more today Maybe not. Maybe not some art Wednesday, probably. It's Monday, by the way, for VOD viewers. Um, maybe not today. But maybe, possibly tomorrow? I might be able to do, like, a couple hours tomorrow now that I think, think about it. Um, and then Wednesday probably would work out, but we'll see. Just depends on if any plans of mine come up before then. Uh, this is fun. I'm really enjoying this. I would have liked to have made more progress in the two hours I've done, but this is my first, like, legit attempt. I did practice, like, I say practice, I did a couple attempts last night just to kind of get a feel for it, and they were 
even more chaotic than this. <laughs> it was wild. But yeah, I definitely intend to see this seed all the way through to its completion. If for some reason I have to close my very legitimate GameCube here, then of course I can always just do another seed. Um, because I'm not going to play through all this one again just to get back here if that happens. But ideally that won't happen. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. Thank you VOD viewers. And I will do more of this at some point and other things. I almost closed. I almost closed Dolphin. Oh my god. I would have cried. I almost closed Dolphin instead of hitting end stream for some reason. Oh good god.